always even, and we can write p equals 2s, where s is some other integer. Substituting p, we find p to the second power equals 2s to the second power equals 4s to the second power equals 2q to the second power, and we find, who can tell me? Anyone? <laughs> Okay, I'm getting ahead of everyone. Let's simplify. How far away is Cleveland? 52 miles. Someone give me another answer. An hour away. Cleveland is an hour away. Someone give me another answer. A $9 bus ticket. Cleveland is $9 away. Oh, a felony charge. The federal courthouse is there. Yes! <laughs> Cleveland is a felonious assault away. Someone else. Yes, Leon. Well, come on, Leon, speak up. Uh, no, never mind. I, I had this idea, but it's wrong. Oh, Leon, of course it's wrong. I mean, the odds against your being right are staggering. <laughs> you have a great advantage. You know the outcome. You will be wrong. Don't fear it. Embrace your wrongness. Leon, how far away is Cleveland? Cleveland is an eternity away, if your heart is there. Leon, that is so provocative. <laughs> Where Cleveland equals P and eternity equals Q, transposing the logarithm of the heart, where the heart is an unknown, we find that we are forever in Cleveland. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Leon. You're wrong. <laughs> yes, Karen. Dr. Solomon, I think that Leon meant that Cleveland could feel like an eternity away. Oh, it's a feeling. <laughs> Yes, I know all about feelings. Everything's just going fine, and somebody has a feeling. And kaboom! Suddenly they don't like you. I think we can all do without feelings. Who's with me? <laughs>